What's up guys, this is Dr. O from Innovative Dental, and today I wanna to talk to you about why you should not get crowns on your front teeth. Chances are, if you've gone to your dentist or been concerned about having your, uh, your front, front teeth addressed from tooth decay or even just not pleased with the way that they look, you may have been advised to get crowns done on your front teeth. There's, there's some reasons why I would encourage a patient not to go down that route. Most of the time, we can avoid that. First, uh, they're too aggressive. So when you are cutting on a tooth to prepare it for a crown, you have to remove almost all of the enamel. And this leaves the tooth more susceptible to uh, fracture, more susceptible to break. It also would make the tooth likely to have more sensitivity and maybe even need a root canal in the future. So when you crown a tooth and you cut all the enamel away, it's definitely uh, more likely to be a problem down the road. And you might ask yourself, so why in the world do we have to cut all the way around the tooth? And one of the reasons that we do that is for decades, um, we've not really had another solution to making the tooth have some sort of temporary why the lab makes your crown. And so we have to put a temporary uh, plastic tooth on top of your existing uh, prep, on the, basically the tooth that we just cut down. And that plastic tooth has to have some sort of shape to hold on to. And so that's why we were taught in dental school to cut around the tooth to prepare it in a way that would hold the temporary. So we're really treating the tooth based off of our necessity to put a temporary on it. Now fast forward, right? The technology's come a long way and now we can actually make the crown while in one visit while you are here and we don't require a lab to make the, the restoration anymore. So since we don't need a lab, you can imagine we don't have to have a temporary and since we don't need a temporary, we don't have to shape the tooth the same way. There's a lot of benefits to you for that because that means we only have to treat the portion of the tooth that gives you A, the, the cosmetic benefit of changing the shade and the shape of the tooth and B, getting rid of the decay that's there. And so most of the time we can do both of those things with something that's much less aggressive. Crowns are just too aggressive almost always. So if your dentist has recommended a crown, I would encourage you to maybe ask them why they feel they feel they need a crown. And if it really comes down to the fact that they, you need a temporary um, or they need to send it off to a lab, then I'd be, I'd be concerned with that. You gotta seek out a dentist that has technology because it's been around for a while that allows us to fix the tooth in one visit and save more of your tooth structure. Avoid all those challenges and problems that I listed earlier about you know, tooth pain, less of your tooth around. I mean, think about it, if you're like a 35 year old and you're getting your tooth cut on to put a crown on it, that crown may last you 20 years, but in 20 years, you're gonna need another crown. And when they cut that old one off, there's gonna be even less tooth structure there. So each time you're getting this tooth treated, you're more likely to have it break, hurt, um, and have problems for you down the road. So just avoid crowns if you can, almost never needed. In dental school, we were taught how to prepare teeth for crowns and not for veneers. So you're gonna most of the time run into uh, dentists that are really trained on crown prep and maybe not on veneer prep. And so crowns, you're going to basically take the burr, reduce the tooth about a millimeter on top and cut all the way around essentially removing all of your enamel. Now, if the tooth is badly damaged, then um, then maybe this is necessary, but the only area that really necessitates or requires us to be that aggressive and remove the enamel all the way around the tooth would be if you had tooth decay on the back side of the tooth. And I was gonna show that to you there. I don't know if I can focus. So on this model here, you can see, I'm showing you the back side of teeth. Very rarely do you get any sort of decay right where my finger is in this back side of the tooth. And this is the area that is really important to maintain your natural tooth structure. Here's why it's so important. So if you look where my fingers are at, you can see all of this, this portion of the back of the side of the front teeth. And I take this other model, which is the lower jaw, and I put it together. One thing you'll notice is where do you chew? right? It's, it's kind of hard to see maybe on this model, but there, there it is. You chew right up against the backside of those, those front teeth. And so when you start grinding away to do a traditional crown on the backside of these front teeth, you're going to change that surface now to 
be something that is going to be a restoration that is chewing against your lower teeth that are natural. And that, that sounds okay, except for the fact that long term, this causes your lower teeth to get more wear. And it's also likely to have uh, wear on the backside of your restoration or chipping or breaking the, the crown over time because of the way that the bite connects. So hopefully that makes sense, but that's, that's one reason, that's really the second reason why I would avoid crowns is that it changes the bite surface of your natural teeth to a prosthetic. And it's really not in an area that that's not super beneficial for you. Maybe even a third reason why you might wanna avoid um, having a crown done on a front tooth is you've heard of, you know, the reason we would typically do a crown is to make it stronger, uh, help hold a tooth together that's had a lot of decay or old restorations. And we would put the crown on top, and when we put it on top and you have chewing forces like this, it's going, the crown's gonna actually be giving that tooth additional strength. The, the fact that that tooth doesn't have the enamel there anymore is not too damaging considering the forces this way. Now, if you take a front tooth, so you have a tooth in front where you, your forces really are more of this, this type of chewing forces where you go like that and you have a little bit of uh, lateral forces on the front teeth. Those lateral forces on teeth that you've taken all the enamel away are not very healthy. And so I've seen a lot of patients who have had crowns on front teeth and their teeth are severely weakened and they will have the tooth break. And I'm wondering if they wouldn't have broken if we would have been more conservative and kept the enamel on the backside of their front teeth. All right, so hopefully uh, I made it clear why I apparently don't. Just gonna hang out. It's my dog Dexter, you can't see him over, over, in, over in the corner. Titan. All right, so hopefully I've made the case for what are some of the risks or challenges and maybe why you shouldn't have a crown done on, uh, on your front teeth. So then the question is, well, I've got some problems. I've got some tooth decay. I've got a fractured tooth. You, you know, cool. I'm glad you made me understand why I don't need a crown, but what am I supposed to do? I believe that most dentists that really are providing the most conservative care are gonna be comfortable doing three quarter crowns or partial crowns that don't cut down the back side of the, the tooth. And they will also be able to do veneers. And veneers are, are just maybe similar to a three quarter crown, maybe even a little more conservative than that in their prep. These are great ways to avoid long-term challenges or problems with your teeth. So I would encourage you to go to a dentist who has the ability to create same day restorations. That'll be a big benefit to you. And go to a dentist who understands how to prepare teeth for veneers and doesn't require or recommend crowns when the backside of the tooth is healthy. The, the topic of this video came up from just, just this last week. I had a patient come in and uh, had some concerns with their smile and wanted to improve it. And they came to me and they were fairly young and they were recommended to have, I believe it was like 20 crowns performed uh, and prepped on their teeth and they were very young. Obviously, that's a big concern to me. Um, I advise the patient definitely don't do that. Um, go to a dentist that is going to be able to prepare the teeth much more minimally so you have the best chance of having long-term health there. And here at Innovative Dental, we pride ourselves on that. So hopefully this video is helpful. I'm, my, my goal here is to just try to educate and bring some insight into what modern dentistry can do for you. And uh, obviously, if you have questions or concerns or things that maybe came up throughout the video, please post them below. Otherwise, give it a like, thumbs up, smash that thumbs up if you can with your phone, and uh, subscribe to the channel. I'll be uploading about every week to try to come up with new topics and ideas that might be beneficial for people to learn about dentistry. So, uh, otherwise, you have a good one. We'll see you next time. What's up guys, this is Dr. O, and I'm excited to talk to you tonight, or not tonight, that's awesome. <laughs> See, <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get this right with you here, I can just tell you that right now. Not, you're just tuning me out like the rest of the time, huh? Dexter, you getting tired of me talking yet? You getting tired of me talking, bud? You tired of me talking? Are you tired of me talking? Hm? I bet you're ready to go home and hang out with our kids. Yes. Mascot.